Hello everyone, and welcome to a new playthrough that I... Yeah, okay. Welcome to a brand new playthrough of another game development simulation game. Yes. This time around we are playing City Game Studio. Uh, we're going to compare this to games in, of a similar vein, as in Mad Games Tycoon. S uh, game Dev Tycoon, Gamers Go Makers, uh, Software Incorporated don't even I'm played I've played other ones but those are like the top ones to me game dev tycoon is just the most popular I don't think it's the best but it's just the most popular to me personally I actually think software incorporated is the best uh, closely followed by mad games tycoon 2 then gamer school makers again youtubers life isn't part of it anyway let's uh, continue shall we this I think this is closer related to Um, I think I'm gonna go with game developer. I don't mind. This level of difficulty is challenging. It is better to have completed the game in difficulty one or two before doing so. Attempting a mode that is too difficult may result in you not, in you not enjoying the game or feeling that something is unfair and balanced. I, I get that. Uh, let's go try. Let's try for game developer. Uh. Map size, fuck it. Let's go for the biggest map size. Game speed will be normal. I'm not going to make it slower or faster. I'm going to probably compare this to... I, yeah. I don't... like it. From what I know, from what I've seen of pictures, it's closer to like game dev... Uh, software Incorporated. But we shall see. What do I want to go with? Classic puzzle? No. Like, I'm an RPG fan in general, so, like, that's tempting. RPG, uh, these three, any of these three are my favorite. Simulation game that we're playing right now. Strategy games, um, things like Command and Conquer. I thoroughly enjoy and RPGs are just Final Fantasy. And <laughs> my channel is pretty much just these three. I have a shit ton of Final Fantasy on my channel, a shit ton of it, game development games and simulation games like, I, it's hard to say that Graveyard Keeper is a simulation game, but it's the closest thing you would get. Uh, the other thing would probably be an adventure, but it's not really. Casual game? Possibly. Um, Stardew Valley, things like that. I, I do like simulation games a lot. I'm not a big fan of like the sim games as in like airport, no not airport sim, like Microsoft airplane sim. I don't like those so much but I actually do enjoy things like Gran Turismo which is a racing simulator and strategy I also thoroughly enjoy. Let's see, eeny meeny, let's, I have a deep, do I have a dice up here? Where's my dice? Where is my dice? Dice, where did you go? Oh, did I throw you in Riley's room? I think I threw you in Riley's room. Okay, drop my dice. Bam, my dice. So, one, two will be RPG, three, four will be sim, five, six will be strategy. Six, strategy. Cool. Let's go strat. Okay, company name will be the Edio Kratz. Uh, Ed Logo. I, like, this is cool. You can just do whatever the fuck you want here. That's cool. Or I can just, like, I chose this. I made this uh, previously. Um, and to be fair, that's what I'm gonna go for. 
It's very... I'm really bad at that kind of thing, but... It works. Can I, like, cut this? That'd be great. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with, like... That one. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I don't... Oh, number of competitors. 12. Yeah, I'm okay with more competitors. It makes it more fun. And I am okay with this. Let's start. Don't rely on everything you can read on the loading screens. I want it, though. <laughs> okay. Ready to leave? Re... Let's read that properly. Space Invaders, that's nice. That's really cool. Ready to relive the epic history of video games from its very beginning. Welcome to City Game Studio. Get started and create your first game. Creating a good game allows you to progress in City Game Studio. Earn money, fans and experience. Click that button. Select a theme. What the actual fuck? Why do I have this much to start with? Like, this doesn't... Sort by name or sort by... Print? What? How does that sort... Oh, okay, I get it. Like, 69, 69... Oh. I don't like the fact that you've got this much to start with. It's just an overload to me. And, like, why would I not go for something that's, um, high on trending? Yeah, like, I don't get it. Why I wouldn't do industrialization or something. Name. So if I... What? Theme. Oh my god, there's so much here. Okay. Darkest dating. I got an achievement. It is about the game. Randomly generated. Uh, okay. Studio. I think. Okay. The game doesn't. Um, there's only one platform. What? Like, the game hasn't said anything else. It just said select a theme. That was it, like nothing else. I don't know what else I'm doing here. Um, okay. Of course it has to be home, because that makes the sense. Required points. Tax no. Elmo no. Major Captain no. It's a mad But how do I choose this? Like... Can I only do strategy? Amateur cabin. Mm. Unreal barcode. Supreme fashion. Internet lowrider. Hideous jet ski. Are you winning, son? I don't know if I'm winning, son. I'm confused right now because usually you can choose between all the different um, genres and this is just a bit too much to start with in the game like usually you have a few themes like it only allows you to have one or two to start with in the game so right now I'm having a little bit of an overload thing and I don't see Yeah. Mega. Megma box. Magma box. Sorry. Um, but yeah, like. So far, every single game. De I don't fault games from veering away from the gen general sense of 
how games work. And it can work. Like, I'm not saying it can't. But, yeah, this, this should lead you in. Like, you should start with two or three. And then you should be able to uh, research more. This is, this is just too much to start with. And there's no point why I wouldn't go with the most trending. And then there's also the fact that, like, music. Like, Hunt isn't a good strategy game. But right now, I don't know that it's not a good strategy game. Movie Adaption wouldn't be a good strategy game. Yep, erotic strategy game. But I don't know if I... I don't know where all the other things are, like all the other genres. All I see is strategy here, and I don't, like, I don't know if that's the thing I need to research as well. Uh, usually, again, you start with, like, a few. And to be fair, strategy usually isn't the first ones. Usually the first three are, what, adventure, strategy, and action or something like that is usually the first three. But yeah, like, again, it could be just because they want to be different. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see how it works. I'm only playing this for a week. We're only playing this until uh, CK3 gets its expansion. Or I finish one or the other. Let's start. Uh, announce the hype of the video game. Okay. Talk to press. Wait, what? Wah, 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 wah. And this is actually really weird. That the game... This is something you should have to research. I already know that it's between 5 and 49, like 50%. I want to uh, focus on with my characters. Graphics are the same, like I know about the graphics and I know about the gameplay. I guess I want to like make sure that my um, workload isn't too heavy. Displays the workload, that's... And this, this weird question mark thing is like weird. Yeah, we are doing strategy game genre, but again, I don't know anything about that. Uh, a workload that is too high or too low will affect the quality of the games produced. To achieve an excellent score, the workload must be in the white which I guess makes sense oh yeah compute com what is this question mark at the bottom there's nothing there uh, like I can't click that off I want to click it off how do I click that off or on okay so we're looking to so we're making the strategy game I guess for a strategy game you want, oh, eh, graphics are not important. Characters are definitely not important. Gameplay is. Ability to produce design points, ability to produce development points. Let's do 100% gameplay. And now I can look in, we're not making Fire Emblem, we're not making Fire Emblem, we're, uh, we're making something that is, we're not making an RPG, basically. So I'm wanting this to be like, just on the edge of here. So I think this is fine. I could probably reduce the characters, like, strategy characters don't fucking matter. That's fine. Estimate the workload of every part of your game by adjusting each age. Hmm, okay. What is this? What is this? Strategy is love. Happiness. Developer. Send on holiday. Um, platform bots. Hideous jet ski announced. Oh, interesting. I get email. Okay. This is different. This is different. I like this. This is a nice announcement system that I could keep. I like. I actually. So, this is something I do like. This is definitely something I think all games should have, where the announcements have, like, a list you can click on and see all the announcements. 
That's a really nice change. That is really nice. This is nice. I like this. <laughs> Fans are excited. So say we all. Cause sometimes you're like, what are all the announcements I just got? And then it, it just like go goes away and you go bye bye. It's like okay. Don't know. Bye. I like that. Hype is a little bit. Sales report. See, there's, the game, you can tell the game's still in early access because, like, this is question mark. It doesn't tell you anything. Number of design points, number of development points, number of points, polish points, dev cost, end day size. What is this? That's going up. Game to unlock game report. Okay. Can I, this is slow as fuck. Oh wow, there's so much. Create a new game. Manage your studio, upgrade computers, assign, read the news and mail. I can, there's no, the tooltips is a bit off. Oh, what is this? Auto up, oh my God. Oh my God. I want this button in every fucking game. Every single fucking game development game needs to have auto upgrade. Jesus Christ. <laughs> such an such a fucking quality of life. Such a quality of life. It's like, ah, oh, I have to delete this and then rebuild it and then delete it and then rebuild it and then my god. I didn't realize I needed that until it <laughs> appeared and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> It's like that meme where it's like, I didn't realize I needed this until I got it, and now I need it. <laughs> That's so good. Jesus. When are we done? When are we done? There we go. Uh, okay, AI needs to be like, amazing. Sound. Ah, uh, sound can actually be up. Physics can fuck off. There we go. That's fine. Mono sounds. I can't switch that off and on. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Uh, maybe a little bit less. There we go. It's pretty slow, but I'm fine with that. It's alright. It's taken us a month so far. And we have spent almost 5,000. Uh, can I change this dollars into pounds? Is there a way to change the dollars into pounds? No, there is not. That's something I would like to see. I don't like having dollars. Even if you just make it something uh, specific to this game. If you're gonna use real world money, you have to... I would say if you're going to use real world money in a game, you sort of have to have different currencies but if you're going to use your own fucking money as different and we're going to turn the sound effects up tell me when the music's too loud how's that is it or is it still too quiet it's too it's too loud for me oh my god yes Number of dev points. Like, there's going to be research, but I don't know where it is yet. We are losing... We're losing a lot of money. We have lost $600. 601 602 600 Yep. This tells you we've lost. That's how much we've lost so far. Oh my god, there's so many things to look at. I like the back. 
So far, I'm loving the background. Like, I'm, I really like this background. It's super, super cool. The UI might be a bit too big, though. Like, this thing here takes up too much space. And I would, there's, there's definitely some things I already would change about this game. Okay. Yeah, I know. Probably. Wow, my workload is... My workload is, uh... Why is this? Games reports helped you refine the blue zone. By leaving the blue zone, you are taking a risk of making an unbalanced game and to get bad... What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> that That's a blue zone and a half! <laughs> <laughs> you get fucked, mate. <laughs> you have 2%. 2%. What the fuck? Uh, my, and my artwork is the complete opposite. It's like between 5% and 100%. <laughs> so we're very, very good at knowing about animation and very, very bad at about knowing about artwork. That's amazing. <laughs> I so far have no problems with this game. Okay. Uh, optimization should be pretty high. Artwork, mm, artwork can be pretty low. Like graphics doesn't matter too much. I think that's all we find. Okay, we can probably speed it up, but I don't want to. This is fan base. We have no mortgages. Oh, Jesus fucking, no. Nope. nope. <laughs> Not changing that. I don't want to fuck myself over right now. <laughs> uh, 1926. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hype bonus. Hype is 28%. It's like studios, show the studio. Oh, I must get more than this. City tab? I don't have that yet. Whee! There's nothing else to click on. I want to click on that. Hmm. I don't, there's nothing to click on here. There's that and that. Sales reports. What game genres the selected studio likes? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Can can this been? Oh, release. Oh, we're done. Uh, yeah, release. Number of produced points fifty. Fifty out of fifty nine. Number of required points to make a good game. The bigger the game size, the bigger the required points. It also uses similar games made in the last four years. We got really that. I would say we got really close. The higher the price of the game, the higher the profit, but lowering the price of a game helps the game with that. I don't know what the price is. Toggle between a paid and a Free to play game. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's an indie game, so I'll probably go for like six dollars. I was really close to like making a perfect game. Nice. Let's say uh, yeah. Let's go next. The minimum service, 50 out of 10. A tasteless melting pot, 53 out of 100. A very mixed report, 52 out of 100. We saw better, but we saw especially worse, 48 out of 100. These magazines are almost the same price as my fucking game. Sure, it's not the game of the year. Good sound, good animation, good development, good polish, good design. Bad gameplay, even though I put my gameplay at max I maxed out my gameplay. I maxed out gameplay and it still wasn't good enough. 
physics and AI. I, didn't I max out our AI as well? Ericrat tries new combos and it works for them. It's an excellent industrial industrialization strategy game. Ericrats cannot publish great indie games on Ulysses due to lack of manpower. Congratulations, you have made your first game. You can now proceed to a post-mortem in order to help you evaluate its development, design and polish. A post-mortem is a report of what went right or wrong during the development of the game. It gives you hints. How do I do that? How do? How do? How do? Is this it? Oh! Create a post-mortem, a post-mortem model, yeah. Oh, interesting. Do the do the game report. Oh, this is cool. Characters were okay. Poor match for How? How was fuck you game? Good match, good match, okay, okay. Do the game report please. Yeah. Um yeah. Can I don't even know what, how good I am. There's no stats on me. Okay. That what? Uh, create a postmortem for one game. Um. That didn't what? What? It didn't tell me much there. Game size, um, yeah. Uh, what have I got next? City map. To unlock, uh, create another game. Okay. Um, music strat, nah, no, no. Steampunk strategy? Cyberpunk, ooh, I want, ooh, ooh, post a bottle, blah, 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 blah. Post-apocalyptic strategy game. Yes, please. Supreme Android. No. Yes. Yes. All the yes. It's a post-apocalyptic game about Octopi. Yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> All the yes! Uh, talk to press. Okay. So gameplay was too much, is what they were saying. That's fine. Characters can probably go up a little bit. Graphics can go up even more. That's fine. Yep, I'm okay with this. City map is done once I get another thing. We're currently making some income, but not much. Wait, does this actually tell us how much income this made? Oh yes, it will. Okay. That's cool. Super happy. Of course I am. Uh, this is what we've learned from Hideous Jetski. Uh, match between strategy and Ulysses is excellent. Match between industrialization and strategy is good. Gameplay is very important for strategy games. Yes, but I tried. I put it 100% and it's not that important. So shut the fuck up, game. The game has not taken full advantage of the console's capabilities. No, it hasn't, because I couldn't. We Still losing money, but it's only been, it's not even been a month yet. I could probably increase the speed now. No, not so. 
That is not correct. Look, gameplay is not always uh, the most important thing. Um, so think of an RPG game. The most important thing to an RPG game is the characters and not the gameplay. Uh, for example, like Last of Us, the first Last of Us, and visual novels as well. But yeah, like think of the Last of Us. The go the gameplay in the Last of Us one isn't spectacular. Like you have to have game. Every game has to have a modicum of gameplay. But some games it is very much not unimportant, and other games it's like that's all it is about like strategy games are all about the gameplay and nothing to do with the characters and the story it's all about gameplay and i'll see you all in the next episode